Hi, Kathy at North Star Prep Stetter. Well, watering my plants inside when they're getting so big like they are is taking a lot of water. I spend about three gallons every few days and I don't want to give them the water from my faucet because I have a water softener and there's a lot of salt in it which leaves deposits in the soil and it's just not that great for, for the plants. Even though it's well water, it still has that added salt to it that I don't like. So I've been using reverse osmosis water that I go and refill my jugs with, but that's getting expensive. But guess what? It's been raining a lot, and so I developed my own little mini rain catchment system that I can use for watering my plants inside. Let me show you what I did. Now in this corner of the house, you know, I've got gutters. So if you don't have gutters, it's going to be more difficult. But I've got gutters here, and I've got a downspout. There's another one on the other end of the house, too which I may end up collecting. But for right now, because we're getting so much rain, this is enough. So what I did is I got a five gallon bucket and a one and a half dollar laundry mesh bag. The bucket was about $2.80. So for about $4, I'm set up with my rain catchment system. I had the bungee cord here, but you could use something else to um, to keep this on. So the laundry bag was big enough where I was able to cut it into four sections. So I could actually have four different catchments if I wanted to. So let me release this here. So, so take the bungee cord off and you can see that this has um, taken care of like bugs and seeds and different debris that came down off the roof and I have wonderful, clear rainwater. So what I'm gonna do is dump this one into here. This is very, very cold because it's only about 35 degrees outside right now and I don't wanna give that cold water to my plants. So I want them to warm up. So what I'm gonna do is transfer that water to this bucket and bring this one inside. A very full bucket. <sighs> I'm gonna leave a little bit in the bottom. Um, actually, it's kind of dirty in there. Because there was a little bit of dirt in the bottom, so I just dumped that out. So I also have a brick on either side to help hold it in place. Okay, put this back on here. Strap the bungee cord around. Now you don't need to have a flat bungee cord. You can use whatever you need to. This just happened to be the right size that I needed for this. And there we go. Now the water can just filter right through there and fill up. And this just filled up overnight with just a very light rain. The beauty about using this mesh bag is that the mosquitoes can't get through here to go lay their eggs in the water. So I think this is going to be great. And there I've got my downspout. And once I don't need the water for the inside plants like that, I'm gonna still collect the water throughout the summer and use it in the garden. So I've got fresh rain water. And I do have some other indoor plants I can use it for. So there you go. Nice, easy, cheap, small rainwater catchment system. Like I said, I only have downspouts on two sides, two corners of the house. So I could have 10 gallons going at each time. Years ago, I used to keep a couple garbage cans. They're like 55 gallons each. And when that bucket would fill up under there, I'd fill this big container full of water. I might go back to that, I don't know. Um, we'll see, it was a little bit to maintain. And, um, but I might do that. But it was, then I had like 100 gallons of water at any given time to be able to use for what I needed. I think I stopped when I wasn't able to empty it out before winter hit and they were plastic garbage cans so they froze solid and cracked open and that was that and I didn't go back to doing it. So anyway, this will be a great help for me 
for watering the plants inside, I'll have all this water available. We've got several days of rain coming up, so it'll be um, interesting to be able to keep that going. Well, it's been a week since I filmed the video of setting up my little mini rain catchment system, and I ended up getting a garbage can that I could put my water in, and it's been so great because all I do is take this pitcher and just scoop into my garbage can and I can use it to water all my plants. I just got a very inexpensive black 35 gallon container and right now it's about half full. I've used a lot of the water. Um, I do have five more gallons to put in here and it's supposed to rain for the next five or six days so I have a lot more to collect in there. And the temperature has been pretty decent out here. Um, we've had in the 60s and 70s, even one day up to the 80s. <laughs> so uh, the water has been getting warm. I'm still bringing some inside to be able to store so it's at room temperature for the plants so they don't go into like total shock. But anyway, I did go ahead and do that because I realized it's like, oh, I should not be wasting all this rainwater. So anyway, this has been a great system, very easy, and getting all my water. And if you don't do this, let me know what kind of rain catchment system that you have. If you guys take care, God bless, and always have hope. Bye-bye.